Welcome back, everybody, to another day of CS125. It's a Thursday. I think it's our, let's see, if you count the weekends, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is our 11th day together, your 11th homework problem, the 11th day of CS125. So welcome back. I'm really glad you're here. Uh, you are not alone. You have the course staff, me, and uh, a lot of people rooting for you. Every day we do a little bit more. Uh, every day that support system is still there, so please reach out to us. We're actually in the process of adding office hours because we have so many staff that want to help you that we're finding new ways for them to do that. And one of the ways we're going to do that, and we'll announce this and put it on the calendar, is by extending some of our existing office hours, have them start a little bit later. So hopefully that will help you if you are um, stuck. Um, actually, sorry, I'm talking about the help site. Existing office hours schedule is going to be there, but we're going to add some help site hours so that you can uh, get help when you need to. Um, so today's lesson, yesterday we talked about algorithms, which was our first chance to really kind of like bring together those building blocks that we've been exploring through the first uh, portion of the class. Today, what we're going to talk about is this sort of organizational concept. So going forward, on some level, you know most of what you're going to learn in this class already, or, or you've, you've been exposed to it. What we're going to do now is practice um, these basic building blocks of algorithms that we started to bring together yesterday to actually be able to solve problems using computers are there. And that's what we're going to use throughout the rest of the semester. What's new is that we're going to solve more complicated problems uh, that require a little bit more thinking. And we're going to explore some new organizational and conceptual strategies. So, you know, as you start to write code, your programs get bigger and more complex. And there's this need to kind of find ways to keep things manageable, to keep stuff under control. So today's uh, lesson on functions is our first attempt to bring some order to this chaos that can happen if we just start writing lots and lots of code to solve problems, which is that we're going to start organizing it in ways that allow us to reason about it, that allow us to reuse parts of it, that allow us to test it and to validate that it's correct. Um, so today's lesson is on functions. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will meet you at the bottom when you're done. Have fun.